Hey guys, it's your boy and you're back with another video and today we're doing a reaction video to something I didn't actually think would really happen. Arc 2 like got confirmed last night at the uh, 2020 Game Awards. A teaser trailer got uh, released and it's absolutely insane. I had to do a video because as you all know, Arc is like my jam, man. It's my favorite game of all time. And you know, if there's a sequel, you know I, I gotta play it. But uh, we don't actually know a release date. This was just dropped uh, last night. No date revealed. It was also dropped along with the trailer for the new ARC TV series, which is also very cool to see. So, well, I'm sorry if my voice is like raspy. I'm recovering from surgery. I got my wisdom teeth removed, and I'm really tired, so it's kind of hard to record this, but I, I have to jump on the hype train while I can. Okay, let's uh, get right into this. I'm gonna pause here and there to give my inputs and theories about like this game. Okay, we got a little girl. Yo, I think it looks awesome. Bro, this doesn't even look like Ark. It's so high quality. It's time to go. There's Santiago, voiced by uh, Vin Diesel. Okay, she has a dinosaur egg. Pretty cool. This looks so good. Oh man. Yo, there's like quartz from uh, Lord of the Rings. Okay. That's actual gore. Bro, look at that Rex. That that is a clean, clean model. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys gotta run. Bro, look at that detailing. Bro, that looks really realistic. Oh no, that little girl's about to die. Oh god. The old switcheroo. Okay, Vin Diesel uh, fighting orcs in the jungle. Very cool. Ooh, skin and stomach. Yo, he's about the 1v1 of T Rex. The balls on this man. The balls. Okay, you're going down, buddy. That, those models are so clean. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ooh. One minute, please. Oh my god, do you see that dude's leg? Oh, look, here's a good look at these orc like dudes. Like, look at that detailing. That, that is insane. Like,. Like, this is really cool. I actually feel like these are the natives to whatever this planet is. Oh, holy crap. Oh man, it's just sacks from the logo. Oh god, Omi did not deserve that. Even though he attacked a kid, but... Oh, this is when you realize it's arc. Look at the specimen implant. Yeah, look, uh, Vin Diesel has one. Bro, look at this area, though. 
Okay, this is when I start like playing in theories. You see those? Those are look exactly like the rings in the Genesis simulation whenever you die and respawn. Also, they resemble the rings that are on the lifeboat, which are going to be in Genesis Part 2. Like you even see like broken down tech pods and stuff. Yeah, there's some in the background. You get to see like the history of Ark. Look right. Look, that's meant to be Helena Walker with like her bow and stuff. Here's a good picture. So this like shows kind of like their history. Like you see uh, members of tribes, the dinosaurs, uh, Bronto, Stego, Trike, Periosaur, Rex. Uh, you see like hands reaching up. And you see HLNA. H-N-L-A. Like that, that's insane. And right above her you see the obelisk. Which, so this is like really important because this proves uh, that I'm right. This it does take place after Genesis Part 2, because if it, it, there's no way it can come before it, it because, like, HLNA wasn't made until the Genesis simulation, and Santiago, even though he died on extinction, I feel like, uh, Helena, as a homo deus, brought him back to life. Oh, wait, um, sorry, I almost forgot to mention this stone. So right here you see hands re uh, with specimen implants reaching up to the cosmos with HLNA. I believe this symbolizes uh, the like the the survivors' arrival on this planet after Gen 2. I believe either uh, I be either believe the lifeboat in Gen 2 crashed. Like so when we defeat Rockwell uh, at the end of Gen 2, I believe we will crash onto this planet as refugees and the tech on it gets mostly destroyed, causing us to restart humanity on this new planet in the Stone Age with our knowledge from the past. We'll get a little bit more into that in a second. Well, look at those pecs, God. Okay, right here you see a tech pod, which we saw at the ending of Gen 2, where we awaken from the Genesis simulation. So I feel like these are actually, like, escape pods from the ship, when the ship was going to explode, possibly. We get launched out into space, and we arrive on this planet. Like, right there you see the Tech Federation logo, which is all over uh, stuff in Gen 2, and part of Genesis Part 1. Okay, we got info coming up. Look, you can see uh, Santiago's body right there, and now it's info. The Custa Santiago, uh, genetic sequence complete, Ingram imprinting incomplete, cloning access. Then this stuff is 24th century AD, okay. Uh, Spanish English, I believe? Strategy, creativity? Okay, I think that says attitude. God, all this talking's hurt, making my mouth hurt. I, I'm doing this for you guys. Yo, sim oh my God, so hard. Historical archive, simulation data. I believe this uh, means uh, it's referring to the data that they gained while he was in the simulation. So I believe Helena resurrected her, uh, him, since she is a homo deus, which in Ark lore is basically a god. So that's very interesting. System access logs. Uh. Uh, old friend. Okay, then uh, Santiago turns off the system for the night, I guess. They wake up, coming out of the cave. And boom, look, you see pterodons right there. In the background, you can see brachies. You can uh, tell those aren't brontos because then the neck's going straight up. God, I'm getting, like, nauseous from this. Uh, not, uh, and look, this is clearly not Earth, at least from what we, uh, know. Maybe these could even, yeah, like, I'm getting, like, major journey to the center of the Earth vibes, along with, like, Avatar as in the blue people. in the Arc 2 logo. Really primitive compared to where it used to, but it looks so good. 
it looks so good. Then you can see plants in the background, which proves that we're not on Earth this time around. Because if this was Earth, we would see uh, half of the moon because it was ha uh, mostly destroyed, and then uh, the sun. So this is like really important to the story. Okay, well, that's my uh, review of the ARC uh, 2 trailer that got teased recently with Vin Diesel playing Santiago. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.